Hi, and welcome to those who have just joined us. Thank you for joining our student experience Couch to College session. This session is going to be presented by Amanda, Louise and Stephen, who are part of our student support at the Manchester College. Throughout the session, please feel free to use the Q&A box to the right hand side of your screen and ask any questions that you have. We'll be doing our best to answer them towards the end of the session. I'm now going to pass over to Amanda, who's going to start the session this evening. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Sillett and I'm Head of Student Support at the Manchester College. Um, I work at Nichols campus mainly, um, but there's eight of me dotted all over the different campuses um, and we really help you to um, get settled into college because um, we understand it's quite daunting, it's all new for you, um, so we help you to get settled in. I've got some colleagues with me at um, today as well. We've got Stephen Hammond, uh, who is a, sorry, Stephen Ramond, who is a student mentor. And we've got Louise Nixon, who does exactly the same as what I do at another campus. I'm just going to introduce Stephen because he's going to tell you about a quiz that we've got um, going on this morning. And you can, um, and it's best to have a pen and paper if you've got one, um, but I will give you some little prompts um, to the quiz so that you can ensure that you're listening intently um, because there's 20 pounds to be won. So I'll just introduce you to Stephen. Thank you Amanda. Morning everyone. Uh, yeah my name's Stephen and as Amanda said uh, I'm part of the student experience team here at Manchester College. I work as a student mentor and I'll tell you a little bit more about the student mentor role a little bit later on on a later slide. But I just want to tell you a little about the quiz. Um, we have got a quiz running this morning based on the presentation um, at the end, we'll be asking you five questions about our presentation this morning and an email address to send your answers to and everybody who gets all five answers correct will go into a hat and one lucky winner will win a £20 Amazon voucher. So well worth your time. Um, and I just want to introduce you to my colleague Louise, who's also head of student support. Over to you, Louise. Thanks, Louise. Thank you. Right, Stephen, next slide, please. OK, with within our team, we've got different um, job roles that support students um, throughout the academic year. Um, we like I said before, it is quite daunting. You've been at school, but you've not been at school since till since March. And we understand that um, you'll be quite nervous about coming to somewhere new. You may have been at school for five years at that school and um, got used to all the different faces there and you come into a new building with lots of different people in there um, and it can get quite, um, it can be quite daunting. Um, we've got staff that will wrap the support around you from day one. Um, and we have three different areas of those support staff. So we've got student experience support practitioners. So if there's any time that you feel a bit unsafe or a bit unsure about anything, um, if you feel that you're going to get lost around the building because our buildings are quite large, um, they're the friendly face. They'll be around the campus and they'll support you from day one. Sometimes we all have problems in our lives and we feel that we might need a little bit of support to get through those problems. Then they will help you and, and talk to you about those problems. And if we can't help, we can put you in touch with somebody that can help as well. We also put the fun into college and we organise enrichment in events, get you involved, help you make new friends. Um, support you with personal and um, employability skills and I'll talk about employability skills shortly and why they are so important and we can al always put you in touch with our learning support team who will provide some more personalised um, learning support in the classroom. I'm going to hand over to Stephen because he's a mentor and he can tell you exactly what he does more than I can do as well because that's his role. 
I will try my best, Amanda. Thank you. Um, so within each of our campuses, we have a team of student mentors and we're like your first port of call if you've got any concerns or any questions or any queries. So we're a little bit different to your subject tutor in that we're completely student focused and focused on people's welfare and progression through their time in college. So we tend to be in the role because we've been through college ourselves, perhaps had a little bit more life experience than, than a lot of our students. And we also liaise, we liaise with our students' parents or next of kin, wherever that's kind of appropriate. Um, so we work alongside the achievement tutors, who Amanda will tell you about shortly, to ensure that any challenges that you've got, the, uh, you know, a, a fair and reasonable and realistic action plan is put in place to support your achievement, because that's what we're all about, to make sure that people achieve their goals. We've had a big emphasis over the last few years at Manchester College on um, careers, not courses. So with that in mind, we're really, really focused on making sure that we're not just looking at your progression while you're in college, but you've got a clear plan for what your life is going to look like post-college. Uh, and that's always um, factored into the kind of conversations and the plans that we make with our, our students. Uh, we're solution focused. We want to support you to achieve your goals and to, as I say, to put realistic plans in place and not look at problems, but look at how we can uh, move forward. Um, one of the things that we do is we provide one-to-one -one and group study sessions. So learning at college is very different to learning at school and we recognise that and we want to support with the differences there because there's a stronger emphasis on you as a student to study independently and that's not something everybody's always used to. And also quite a lot of our subjects are very practical and it can be difficult to do independent work when you've not got access to your workshop and you've been set work to do at home by your tutor. Um, and that's just a bit of an overview of the role. Um, and I'll just pass you back to Amanda, who's going to tell you a little bit more about what our achievement tutors do. Thank you, Amanda. OK, so you have an achievement tutor assigned to you and they will facilitate some group sessions. Now, during COVID, some of those group sessions might be online or they might be face to face. Um, and somebody's asked a question, which I'll talk about shortly about um, being online. Um, they'll monitor your progress. Now, that's important that you're keeping up with your work um, and you're not falling behind um, so that you're going to be panicking about um, your work that you, you're missing. So they'll keep you on track. Um, you'll have up to three one-to-one -one sessions with your achievement tutor over the year. Um, and they'll ensure that you're meeting your targets. And if not, they'll support you and help you to the, meet those targets. They'll deliver tutorial sessions on employability. And again, I'll talk about employability sessions and why those are so important and they'll develop awareness in your careers, um, what you need to do next, um, how to get involved in different aspects of the college, um, but they'll, they're the go-to person to keep you on track with your course. They will also monitor your attendance as well um, and it's important what we aim for is a hundred percent attendance and a hundred percent punctuality. Now you know that's what we expect and, and that's what would be expected in the workplace. But we do understand that everybody gets, um, you can get an illness or whatever throughout the year and you might need a few days off. But if if you are going to be off, what we do expect is that you ring the college. There's an attendance number and that's on the student guide that we'll talk about later in this session. Um, and that you, you tell us that you're not going to be in and you inform us as you would do if you were working as well. OK, so that's the Achievement Tutor. They're a friendly uh, group of, of staff who really support you and you will get to know them really well um, so that you can go to them anytime if you're worried about anything at all. OK, next slide, Stephen. OK, so this is um, Openshaw um, support team and you can see I have never seen at any other college um, as many staff that are support our students. So we have a head of student support, so that's Julie. So Julie does the same as myself and Louise. We have a team leader, 
so like a deputy really and a site duty officer and the site duty officer is a face around the college um, he'll check that you're wearing your ID badge um, and you'll be a welcome at the door every morning um, to ensure that you know where you're going. Always a friendly face if you get lost. And a lot of our students at the very beginning will say, I don't know how to get to a certain place. And, and we're all there to assist you throughout. We've got our safeguarding team underneath there and the achievement tutors like I've just spoken about. And we have mentors. Um, so a really nice friendly bunch all there to help you all the step of the way while you're studying with us at the Manchester College. OK, next slide, please. OK, so at some point when you're studying, um, you've not been at um, in, in a learning environment since March, perhaps. Um, and sometimes you might find it a little bit difficult or you might need that extra little bit of support to get you settled into college. And what we've got now is called the Hive. Um, and this is where our mentors are predominantly going to be. Um, they will support you, give you that extra support. They'll also help you to get involved in college life. So they might get you to um, plan some enrichment activities, take part in some focus groups, um, they might help you with some well-being issues. Um, now, some of our students may have um, some anxiety um, issues and put, they'll help you put some support in place so that you can overcome and work um, with the mentors to assist you um, in, in overcoming some of those barriers that, that may just be affecting your learning. So we call this our hive um, and you'll you'll be aware when you come onto campus, you'll be aware of where the hive is um, and where you can go to if you need just that little bit of extra support. And it's really just to support you with those barriers that you might find that you need to overcome so that you can really thrive at college. So that's the hive. So just remember that word because it could be a question in uh, Stephen's quiz. So just remember, if you're going to go to the hive, you'll be thriving at the hive. <laughs> Thank you. Next, next slide, please. OK, so we've got the deal and this the seven parts to the deal and Louise is going to go through this shortly, but it's important for the culture of our college and it was put together with consultation from staff and from students and some of our um, work placement employers um, and we put this together um, and it's it we call it the deal um, and Louise is going to go through these aspects. Thank you, Louise. Thanks, Amanda. Um, this is a visual tool that we use, um, and it's just a collaboration with um, businesses, local authorities. And it's about being this talking earlier, it's about raising forces. So, we want our students to do is to be able to move on and gain employment. And what we need in employment is all of these key skills. So, we need to come together, we need to share ideas, show understanding. We need to be proactive, we need to be involved in thinking. We need to get together, solve any problems, come up with ideas. Committed. So Amanda's talked to you about attending 100% of the time, what we hope you do. So come in, get in on time, be committed to your work, be ambitious, aim hard, be professional. We all have professional standards, so we all wear ID badges, so we, you know, we are. And we're safe. We're all staying safe on site. We need to be kind and inclusive. We need to take ownership of what we have. We will allow us to meet the building here, please. I think some of us are having some difficulties hearing Louise, unfortunately. Um, it might be helpful. Amanda, can you take over on this one? Okay. Yes, yeah, somebody's just put in the chat that Louise is breaking up. Sorry about that, everybody. I'll just go through the deal. So we've got seven aspects and I taught you before that it's it's really important to the culture of our college. 
Um, so I'll go through at each aspect. Um, and again, some of these we, we're going to have to adapt with COVID as well. So we'll talk about being respectful. Um, we've got to be inclusive and kind while we're in the workplace or at college or university. Show appreciation to others and be honest. Um, and, and that's really a work skill that we need um, and really just to be in society we need to have those skills as well. We need to be collaborative, sharing ideas, show understanding and working together whether that's enrichment or it's part of your um, learning. We need to work with others um, and we, we always hear that especially in some of your job applications about teamwork so we need to be collaborative. We need to be proactive um, solve problems and try and solve them yourself um, or solve them as a group of students. You need to get involved in college life. Some of the most fantastic memories of when I was um, at college were when I got involved in things and I've still got friends from college now. Um, if you see something, um, tell somebody and somebody will sort it or they'll be help you. You know, you can take part in that to help um, sort something out if, if needed. You need to be committed. Really important that you are committed to your studies. You attend when you should attend. You attend on time and you need to be independent. Um, so a little bit different from school that you, you have to have that independence and really try um, to, to work through your work and make sure that you get your working on time. You need to hit those deadlines, as I've said, get your working on time and you need to take ownership. I'll just move this box, I can't see. Um, take ownership and you need to lead by exa example and have that can do attitude really really important that you're not negative about your studies. You really want to flourish, you want to get the best and be the best you can be. Um, so you really need to be responsible with your own studies and the way that you behave around college as well. So that links us into being ambitious, be proud of where you study, aim to be the best that you you can be and be determined to really push and get the next level. Don't just don't just be happy with the pass or a merit. You want a distinction. Um, you want to be aiming as high as you can. You want to be professional all the time. So you need to be here and um, be here at college or you'll be on in your online studying. You need to wear your ID badge while you're at college as well. Really important to show that you're a member of our college. You need to be professional coming to college and, and leaving college because you are a member and you are um, representing our college um, as a student as well to show that you are completely employable um, that you know all our employers in Manchester and, and further afield and some of the universities will want you because you've been to the Manchester College. Um, so that's the deal. And if you do see any of the tutors, which they don't do, but if you did not wearing an ID badge, you've got every right to tell them to um, because this is a two way process. Um, so really, really important. And this will make you ready for university or it will make you ready for work as well. Um, so that is the deal. You'll see it all over the campus. It's stickers um, and it may be in Stephen's quiz. So remember what the contract is called. OK, next slide, Stephen. OK, so college life it is different from school. Um, at school you wore a uniform perhaps. Um, now you might wear a uniform for some parts of your college life. Um, so if you're going into hairdressing, there's a, there's a salon uniform. You, if you're going into sport, you might have a, your tracksuit's got the Manchester College on. Um, automotive, you'll have a uniform and PPE for that area as well. But most of the time you can come to college in your own clothes that you like to wear um, and you don't have to wear a uniform. Um, you're free to come and go as you like um, within reason that you attend all your, all your timetabled um, um, sessions. 
Um, your timetable will be shorter, so you're in college five, uh, shoot, sorry, school five days a week. Um, in college, you'll expect it to, to be in college around three days a week. Now, that will be slightly different with our COVID restrictions, but under normal circumstances, you'd be in college three days a week. That gives you time to have either a part time job, do work experience and study as well. So you've got extra time to study. So that will be your independent study on those days as well. Um, so three days a week is fantastic. You've got two days if you're not on work experience where you can have a little bit of a lie in. Um, you can call tutors by the first name. So I'm known as Amanda all over the campus. Um, so there's no need to call um, staff by the second name. And you'll have more empowerment to get involved, to make changes at the college um, and be have some independence as well. Um, but you're responsible for your own attendance and punctuality. We will support you if you if we see something dipping, we'll ask you about it and we'll be very quick to ask you about your attendance and punctuality. Um, really, really important that you must attend either your sessions that are online or you've got directed study or you're in college. It's so important that you attend because if you're not here and you're not online, you're not learning. Um, so it's really important that you are responsible for this as well. We'll also, um, if your attendance does start to dip and we've had a conversation with you, we, we would get in touch with parents and guardians and carers um, to ensure if there's anything that they can do to help you or if there's anything that we can assist in that as well. So we really are very, it's very important that you do attend um, throughout the academic year and you're only with us 36 weeks in a year um, so it goes so fast every year flies by so it's really really important and in the chat I, I know what will be sent out to you will be um, the TMC on the website there's a student guide that tells you absolutely everything about the college um, so have a good read through that. It's got the term dates on and um, everything that you need to know, links to policies, etc. So really, really important for you as a new student that you read um, the student guide. OK, thank you. Thanks, Stephen. Next slide. OK, so we've got the programme of study. So as you when you were at school, you had lots and lots of different um, subject areas. Even though you have a core curriculum, so say if I wanted to choose hairdressing as my core qualification, um, there's a lot of other aspects of your programme of study that you will um, look at while you're at the college. So we've got the core qualification at the top, so that's your choice of, of career. Then we've got English and maths. Now, depending on what your prior achievement is, um, from school will depend on, on if you're doing English and maths. But again, we will do a lot of English and maths work. So if you don't need to attend English and maths sessions, we'll do a lot of work on English and maths to ensure that those skills are kept up to date um, and that you don't you, you don't lose those skills as such. We have a session on support, so that will look at tutorials. Um, and we might look at lots and lots of different areas of tutorial. It could be something that um, is is in the news at the time. Um, it might be on health issues, healthy lifestyle. Um, we'll work through those as well. Um, we, you've got your one to one supports in there, your one to one tutorials and, and if you need bursaries and support with either learning support, anything like that, that comes under that session. We've also got an employability session, which we will look at um, work experience, um, citizenship, whether you can do some volunteering and some employability skills. So looking at CV writing, um, interview techniques, why it's important to have um, work experience. A lot of employers do like to see it on CVs. So if you're going for jobs and they've and they've seen that you've done work experience, they do like to see it um, 
on there really really important um, it's also good to ensure that you're going to like that that um, career choice as well you've had a little go at it um, so it really it puts you in the picture and and a lot of our students as well who have shone in the work experience have also got jobs from that as well because they've made such a positive impact on the employer and then we've got enrichment so you can be a student ambassador you can take part in competitions we have activities and trips um really really popular are in enrichment um, there's always something going on in your first few weeks at college um, there'll be lots of things happening in at lunch times as well um, to really get you settled in and so that you can meet new friends as well. Really, really important that we get you settled in early um, and that we can really, really um, support you all the way through the academic year. But really, that's the fun part of college. Um, the other bit's hard work, isn't it? You're doing a lot of work in your studies and this is the time where you can um, start to learn new skills as well. But really important just as and just as important um, for employability enrichment. Um, I know my daughter would took part in netball at, at um, her college. Um, a long, it was a long, long time ago, but then when she went to university, carried that through and still was part of the university netball team as well. So that's what your programme of study will look like. Um, and it, and it, it takes part over those three days that you're in college as well. OK, next next slide, please. OK, I think somebody did ask a question on enrichment and I'll really try and ensure that I answer all of um, those questions that I've seen in the chat. Um, so enrichment, really, really exciting part of being at college. Um, it, it's the best part of student life, really. Um, the work is the hard part, but this is the time where you can really let your hair down and have a good time. Um, so it's a chance to learn something new. Um, some of our students have never done basketball before and um, we've got some of our brand new basketball uh, players at Nichols campus and they've never done it really at school um, and they're part of the team now as well. Again, really making sure that you make new friends, uh, develop some fantastic skills and we, we do have an online calendar um, of events. So with COVID, some of those um, enrichment may be um, online. So it may be that you might learn meditation, how to meditate. There might be a yoga session, a keep fit session. I don't know if anybody's seen some of our keep fit sessions um, on our um, social media and some of our um, staff delivering those keep fit sessions. I know I've done quite a few of them, um, but really, really good way to get involved. We have societies and we've got groups as well meeting up. So I run an LGBT group and we um, get together and, and have, we talk about it's a social aspect, but we, we do some enrichment as well. We take part in pride. Um, so lots and lots of online, but we'll be doing some of the enrichment as well on campus. But again, very, very thoughtfully done. There'll be risk assessments with those and some things will have to change slightly, but we'll do as much as we can um, on campus as well. So we'll have themed events like I spoke about. Um, it may be that it's equality and diversity or it could be healthy living. Um, lots and lots of sports um, that you can get involved in. We have football teams at the college um, and you can get involved in those. Um, we have volunteering clubs and societies. We have a chest, a chess society um, that you can get involved in. I can't play chess, um, but we have a big group that play chess. Um, we have lots and lots of competitions, sustainability competitions that you can get involved in um, and really are the entrepreneur competition. We have lots and lots of community projects as well. That's fantastic for 
us working with that within our local communities, getting involved. Um, guest speakers, we've had some very, very popular sport guest speakers as well. Hairdressing guest speakers from the famous world of hairdressing um, and short courses as well that you can get involved in. First aid courses, all really, really um, fantastic for your CV. Um, we also run the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Um, so if you've done that at school, you can carry it on with us at the college and there's external trips and visits and some of these will be with your curriculum as well. Um, so lots and lots of exciting um, opportunities for you and some of our students do come in on uh, the days off as well from college um, if they know that something's going on um, and they don't want to miss it. So we'll we'll see a lot of our students that might be in on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and they're also in on a Thursday and Friday because there's football or there's a competition going ahead and, and they're in and getting involved, which we really want you to do. Um, so that's great. So that's enrichment. You don't have to pay for any of it, um, but some of the trips, obviously, there might be some charges for those, but it, it, it all comes as part of being at the college. So what we want to do now, it's I can tell you all about enrichment, um, but some of our staff and some of our students will talk to you about the enrichment offer. And there's a short video again. Some of this air, some of this might be on the quiz. So really take um, take some notes um, and, and really listen to the next part of the video, please. Thanks, Stephen. Hi. Hi. We are responsible for the delivery of enrichment across the wider college. Enrichment is part of your programme of study. It's a really good way to gain new knowledge and skills. In addition, enrichment helps you to flourish not just personally but academically. It helps you to gain the skills to become work ready. So what does enrichment look like at the Manchester College? Well, here are some of our learners and staff to tell you a little bit more about it. Hi, my name is Des Wilson. I'm a student experience support worker here at the Manchester College and I belong to the student experience team. I'm here to talk to you today about the enrichment programme and the offer that we've got for you to get engaged with here at the college to help you develop to the best of your ability. We have various programmes that are on offer. Um, there's a lot of enrichment activities that go on. For example, we have lots of clubs, societies and groups that you can get involved in within different curriculum areas. We also have a gym here based at Openshaw, which has got scheduled opening times and you're very welcome to use that. If you do want to find out a little bit about this, you can come to the student experience team at any time and we're very happy to help you with that. Uh, we also have various programmes involved, such as uh, programmes aimed at promoting and maintaining your positive mental health and well-being. So these activities include meditation, yoga, Pilates, we have guest speakers that come in occasionally and also there's an opportunity for you to be a part of our team as well and get involved in activities and become an enrichment ambassador. I do hope that you do get involved in lots of activities here at the college. It's a brilliant place to be. We're a great team, we're very friendly and I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. Hi, I'm Hannah Cray and I study at the Sheena Simon campus. At my time at the Manchester College, I've been involved in many different groups, one of which is the LGBT plus group. We have done many different events, one being the Hate Crime Awareness Week. As a group, we meet once a week and we talk about problems we may face and we share stories with one another. So having the LGBT plus group has given me a lot of confidence. I now have many other young people, students that have now become my friends and I'm now finding out who I am. Hi, my name is Akosia Poku. I've been studying at Openshaw Campus for almost two years. I'm currently studying Health and Social Care Level 3 and I'm one of the student ambassadors at the Manchester College. With the support of the students' experience team, I met Teresa who motivated me to improve my confidence by applying for the student ambassador position. This has really helped me gain confidence good communication skills and employability skills. The college has been really helpful through my first year journey and even now I've done things I've never thought I could. I met incredible people. 
The Student Experience Team has done excellent in supporting and motivating all students. Being an ambassador has really helped me. My name is Ethan Fulton and I'm studying Level 3 Carpentry and Joinery at the Manchester College. I am here to talk about the benefits of enrichment at the Manchester College. Throughout the last year of my course, we entered an entrepreneurial competition with the help of our amazing tutor. Out of all the brilliant ideas that groups from other campuses have created, we came first and won £400 to go towards a trip, so we all decided to go to Alton Towers. We learned many skills like team working, employability and character building that hopefully we can apply into the real world. Thank you Manchester College, be challenged. So be involved this year. We have sustainability, EDI and entrepreneurial competitions. Good luck. I'm Matthew. I am currently studying at Openshaw Campus for the Manchester College and I'm currently on the course of Level 3 BTEC Digital Technologies. Uh, I'm also a part of the Student Council. I was standing head for the academic year 2016 to 2017. Most of our roles are talking to students and seeing what they think should be improved around the college, such as changing a dish in the cafeteria or improving our ICT uh, systems, such as internet or maybe just newer computers. An example of something that's on the Richmond programme is the fact that we have guest speakers which will come in and raise awareness about different topics. Um, these topics can range anywhere from disabilities for mental or physical capabilities to the world of business and employability. Some of the benefits of being involved are probably, well, you get a jacket if you join Student Council, that's one of the better things and they're pretty decent quality. Um, and for the different clubs, you get to meet different people, you get to make friends that you might not have met before. My name is Jason Francis and I'm currently in the Manchester North Indian College. The college offers lots of different workshops you can become involved in. I took part in a cycle maintenance course and cycle proficiency. I learned to cycle safely on the road and gained a certificate. At the end, I was given a bike and it was very great. After the course, I felt more confident that I could ride the bike anywhere. Hi, my name is Ryan. I study IIT level two and I'm known as an enrichment champion. As an enrichment champion, you get to provide the school or the college with what they need and to make the college a better place. And we create like football activities, basketball, music competition, talent show basically, so that um, all the students can be happy. We also have a group in which all um, we provide our skills together. And I think with this, you can bring out your skills and your talent, and also be respectful to others as well, because I think that's the, that's the most important thing we have to do. And at the end, we'll, we have celebration meal when we all come together as one to celebrate the day together. Okay, so that was some of our lovely staff and students uh, telling you a little bit around enrichment um, and they put it really well. Um, so really it's just about making the most of your time with us, get involved, meet new people um, and have a bit of fun while you're at college as well. Okay, while you're at the college, you can sign up to the D of E. Um, you might have been aware of this at school. Um, there's a sign up at this moment in time and I'm not sure I'll I'll read out the email and I will will get somebody to put it in the chat. But if you sign up now, you can get a free registration um, and it's normally um, about £25 to register so you can get a free registration there. So it's really I think that's worthwhile doing if you if you're interested. Fantastic for your CV, uh, for university and and for looking for an employment. Um, it'll develop your independence, um, any teamwork skills, as we spoke about in the deal. Um, quite a lot on self discipline because you've got to achieve certain hours in certain aspects of the the D of E, and some of these will be outside your comfort zone as well, um, and a really big part of the DAV is, is keeping fit um, and having that healthy lifestyle as well. It's a real 
real challenge to get your DV. It's not an easy thing to get, but it's so worthwhile for your CV and you'll feel a huge sense of achievement that you've got this really really important and I, I do think you need to remember for Stephen's quiz question um, just the name of this um, award fantastic award to get but again a really good offer there that you can sign up to it now and get free registration because it will save you around £25 um, you know you and it's the big part of it isn't it when you're um, having to pay out £25, a lot of money, um, but well worth signing up to that. Um, I'm not sure it'll be first come, first served, but again, worth doing that. So that's the DOV that we, we organise. OK, next slide. OK, and, and I'm not sure if we can hear Louise, so I'll go through Louise. Um, does a lot of work around my voice and and the student council and, and study reps as well, but I'll go through everything. As in the video, um, one of the students talked about that you that you can become an enrichment champion. And what that is, is that an enrichment champion will talk to other students in their classes. And if we're putting on some things that you're not really interested in, in, you can put your voice to us to say what you would really like to see in our enrichment um, because we think we, we we put on the right things for you but you might have another interest and we would really try and put those on so again an enrichment champion helps with that it also helps with the running of them um, as you saw there's quite a lot of staff in our support team but we always need more help and we're putting on some of our huge events um, and it might be that you might have to do a display board to advertise or you might have to make posters to advertise to other students but really get involved um, in in that um, planning really. Um, we also have study reps on all of our campus campuses and within this a study rep you will be voted in your class as the voice of your class um, and this will provide feedback to the college um, and you can have a volunteer then that will voice that feedback to the college. Really, really important. Um, I know every year we get asked for swimming pools, which would be lovely, um, but we, we, we do get asked for, you know, some quite simple things that we can easily change. Um, and because you're the student who are using the buildings, etc., cetera, um, you can see them sometimes in a different way than staff can. It's a really important part of, of college to have your voice. And we have a campus council, so all the study reps um, get together and we have a council that works with the student union to improve the experience of um, being a student at the Manchester College. And the student union um, is a, another body and you have to be elected into the student union and they speak to other colleges um, and, and take part in the national student union conferences um, to improve the lives of all students um, in the UK as well. So really, really important that you get involved and make those changes if, if needed, if you see something that you'd like to change um, and it might be something quite simple that you say last year we need we required more vegan op um, uh, menu on some of our uh, campuses. So, you know, quite easy to do um, and it was needed on certain campuses and we made sure that that happened. Um, so that's the student voice, really, really important. Um, and, and to create those positive changes in the future. OK, Stephen. Right, so any questions? But before we do that, I think, Stephen, am I going to just just go through some of the quiz quiz questions initially before we go to our um, question and answer? Mm, Shall I do the? Yes, please, Amanda, you do the quiz question because. Right, yeah. OK. Now, I did give a few prompts to help everybody, um, but these are the five questions and I believe that you have got to send your answers to um, and we'll put the um, 
email address in the chat and make sure it's sent out to you. But it's J Stedman, S T E A D M A N, at TMC dot ac dot uk um, and these are the five questions so good luck everybody um, at the manchester college we offer a centralized support hub where you can thrive Do you remember that one what's its name so that's question number one remember there's 20 pound in this um, all TMC staff and students follow a set of standards and behaviours like a contract during day to day college life. What's the agreement called? Um, and remember it was set up with collaboration from staff and students to make a two way contract. So what was that called? That's number two. So question number three. College staff hold a number of different roles within the student support team. Stephen's one of them. Name one of the job roles and I'll give you some um, some examples. Um, some people are called HOSSES, SDOs, SESPs, ATs, and SMs and Stephen's one of those SMs, but what are they called? So name one of the different job roles within the student support team. So that was question three. Question four, on what date, and you'll find this on the student guide on the website, on what date does autumn terms start um, or what does the autumn term, term begin this year? So what day are we all back into college? Um, so that was question four. Question five, the Manchester College students can participate in a nationally recognised award programme. After which senior member of the Royal Family is it named? So that's question five. Quite easy that one because it was a recent slide. Um, so good luck everybody with those questions. I did try and help you along the way. Um, it's, it's quite a task mask, master Stephen and, and they're quite difficult some of them. You have to be really listening um, but hopefully you can um, enter that competition with a chance to win £20. Thank you very much Stephen and now if we go to the question and answer everybody happy to, to move on to the question and answer. That's great, Amanda. Thank you so Thank much. You so. so we're just going to take some of your questions, starting from the top here. Um, will achievement achievement cheaters help us when we're trying to get into university? He wants to answer that question. I'll answer that one. Yes, they will. Uh, we put sessions on with the employability uh, tutors as well and we put sessions on to write your UCAS statements um, we look at um, which opportunities well which universities are best for you um, and we'll take you through every, this, every step of the way. We also as part of our enrichment invite universities into college and they will give you a lot of information about their university um so to, to help you to make that choice but just remember we have got USEN Manchester we have a university at um as as the next step from the Manchester College um within our group that is fantastic um so we'll we'll get you know you can have a, um, a chat to some people from USEN as well um and they will support you but absolutely yes they, they will yeah, and it's good just to mention as well, when you mentioned use in Manchester, they've currently got their own online events taking place at the moment as well. And um, so if you go online and you search online open days use in Manchester, you can see a full calendar of all of their events taking place this week and next week too. OK, next question. Um, I know that you mentioned a lot on the enrichment and um, someone's asked, do you have to pay for any of the enrichment? Would that just be the trips, Amanda? Yeah, some of the trips, um, there will be contributions to those trips because um, in the past we've we've had trips to New York. Um, obviously, with the COVID, um, 
things will change around trips as we move forward. Hopefully we can continue those, um, but at this moment some travel is restricted. Um, however, everything else is free. Um, really, really get involved and the, the just some of the most fantastic events that we've put on. Um, we shock ourselves sometimes how good they are. Um, uh, and some of the um, guest speakers that we uh, managed to get into, we've had famous boxers, Anthony Crowler, um, and some very, very famous footballers as well have come into Nichols on, on my site. Um, and I know, I, I'm not exactly sure who they were, but I know there was very, very fancy cars in our um, car park um, and, and they had centre stage as well as the um, Man City footballers and Man United footballers that, that attend as well. Um, but yeah, um, and, and I know quite a lot of our students where their footballers had to sign in. They took photographs of the visitor book as well so that they had a, an online sort of virtual autograph. So quite exciting. <laughs> that's I hope that answers your you. question. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's great. Thank you. Um, just another question here. Do we get uh, pictures taken for our, our, our ID badges or do we have to take them ourselves? No, you'll have your picture taken at college. Um, so make sure for anybody um, who wants to make sure their hair's done, some students want to have the makeup on when they have the photograph taken, it will be um, you have one go at it. Um, I know some students halfway through the year ask for another ID um, photograph um, and I suppose you could do that really but you would have to pay for a new ID badge and they come in about three pounds but more students happy to have the photograph taken and they keep it for the whole year um, and it's quite good if you're here for two or three years with us and you keep your ID badges um, it's quite um, interesting to see how you've changed along those years. I know I've got some of my old I staff ID badges um, and, and I've been at the college for 25 years and I've I've changed over those years. <laughs> but yeah, 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 you will have your photograph taken at the college. Yeah, and will they receive those ID badges the first time they visit campus? Yes, they will, yeah. They will they'll all be ready for you and you must wear them it's really important that you wear them it ensures that the people stay safe on campus you're the right people that should be on the campus because you've got an id badge on it helps you get your printing free um meals at the college if, if you're entitled to those and it gets you in certain areas of the college as well so really really important that you remember to wear them i know it's a little bit different if you didn't wear them at school um, but you are a uniform, but that's the only thing really that is is like a uniform that you've got to wear that. It really does show us that you, you're a member of our college community. Great, thank you. Um, another question here about campuses. How will the college make campuses safe in relation to COVID-19? Yeah, there's, there's been a, an awful lot of work happening over the um, summer period and prior to the summer period as well to ensure that this, for the safety of students and for staff as well. Um, I have never seen the well, I've seen the biggest risk assessment. I think it was 48 pages long and all of that has been put into um, to place on campuses. Um, what we ask you to do, though, as students and, and I suppose and staff is that you will be asked to respectfully um, keep your distance um, and wash your hands, all all the stuff that you already know. Um, and there'll be lots and lots of hand sanitizer. Um, there will be wipes for your computers. Um, so every single measure has been put in place to ensure the safety of yourselves. That's great. And do you know whether students will have to wear masks when they return to campus? I'm not sure at this moment in time. Um, the government guidelines from the 24th are saying that if you go shopping, you've got to wear a mask. So things could change as we move forward. Um, so we'll just have to watch this space for that. Um, but you will be told prior if you need to wear a mask. Um, you'll have lots of information sent to you. So if you do, um, then you know, if, if that's part of the government requirements, then um, may, maybe we'll all have to wear them. But I'm not sure at this moment in time. 
Great, thank you, that's helpful. Um, someone's asked, do we have to buy our own notebooks for college work or will they be provided? Is the support with resources available? Um, sometimes we offer um, some uh, portfolios, some files, but normally you would start to get your a work stationary pack ready prior to you coming to college. Um, some different curriculums offer certain things, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I can't really answer that one. Normally our students would start to um, put to, together a stationary set ready for college, just like you would do at school. Great, thank you. Um, and we've got a question here, you know, if, if we're suffering with any anxiety or we want any support um, with our mental health, is there someone that we can be speaking to? Yeah, we, obviously we've got the support team that will wrap around you. We also, which I didn't mention, we have a counselling team as well on college um, and you can have some counselling support. Um, but again, at the Hive, we'll be doing a lot of work around students with anxieties because we do understand it's a big step coming to college. Um, and we've had, you know, the COVID issue, etc. For, for a lot of people to deal with um, and we all get problems within our you know at some point in our lives as well so there's a lot of support there for you that's great thank you and um, we've had a couple of questions about student ambassadors so yeah. um, how does one become a student ambassador how long can you be a student ambassador for does it look good on cvs definitely looks fantastic on cvs um great for you to it's 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 so good for so many different skills really for organizing skills planning skills event management um because some of our events are full day events um we do an event called fit for fun and we've got climbing walls that get delivered and all sorts of amazing events a fun run um but they take quite a lot of organizing so our student ambassadors really get involved in those um and but again it's, it's the event planning some of our students are even um, take part in some of the risk assessments as well and start looking at you know managing risk for some of the events so it's it's a really good skill great skill to learn great thank you okay um we've had a question about the gyms is there one on every campus and do you need to pay to use it okay there's not one on every single campus um but you don't need to pay to use them but you'll go in with our student support workers um you go in to tend to be going as a group there's always somebody um there to ensure the safety um is met within the gyms as well but i'm um i think there's a couple of campuses that have not got them yeah i think that's right yeah okay. um a couple questions about schedules so um, someone's asked what days are students able to come to the college each week so I think this one might be like does every student get their own schedule are they expected to be in Monday to Wednesday or everybody will have an own, their own individual timetable um, some day some students might be in Monday Thursday Friday they're all very very different depending on your group and this year, or especially at the initial start of this academic year, due to COVID, it will look more different than it's ever looked. So you'll be in college, you'll be doing independent study and sort of research and an online one-to-one -one study as well, or one-to-one -one sessions. So it will be slightly different and it's different for staff as well. Um, but it will be very, very flexible, your timetable, but they are very, very different. We're not just in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It, it will be very individual to yourselves and to your group. Great, thank you. I think we've actually come to our one last question. And um, someone has asked, where will I find the student experience team on campus? Right, you'll find them. They're always in the, the main area of the campus. Usually they've got a student T, um, student support t-shirt on um, and on the back of that they advertise the deal and I remember that might be part of one of your quiz questions um, and they have 
they have t-shirts on advertising that they are part of the student experience team but what we tend to do at the beginning we'll tend to come to your classroom and introduce ourselves so you really are aware of that friendly face at the start of the year um, but we'll always be around and if we see anybody who looks like the lost or the, you know um just not looking themselves we will we'll always go up some and make sure that you know that everything's okay and they know where they're going and everything's fine with them as well that's great thanks and um, yes yeah, so that is our last question of the session thank you again for joining us we hope you've gotten loads out of it and um, if you head over to tmc.ac.uk forward slash couch to college you can have a look at our full calendar of events this week we've got lots of different sessions taking place there's one tomorrow that is all about work experience and your future career and that's being delivered by our employability team as well so thank you again for joining us and we hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you thank you <laughs> bye everyone